Hello everyone, welcome back to Jus de Rose. On this channel we talk about fragrances and in today's video I'm helping you pick out which 1 million fragrance by Paco Rabanne is the right one for you. Now 1 million is a pretty popular fragrance and for good reason. It is sexy, it is confidence boosting, will grab the attention of the ladies for sure and it has amazing sillage, performance and longevity. What else could you want in a fragrance? So today I have four perfumes that you can mostly find worldwide and I'll be telling you which one is right for you. Let's begin with the OG 1 million Eau de Toilette. It's been out for over 10 years and is still one of the best selling fragrances worldwide. Now if I had to summarize this fragrance in say two words, it would be the womanizer. This is the ladies man, definitely. And if you don't own this fragrance and you spray this fragrance, you will become the ladies man for sure. Ladies love this fragrance. It is incredibly intoxicating and has the sexiest sillage. It is loud, it is powerful, and it will make a statement. This fragrance is built around a fruity, leathery, ambery, woody accord. I know, a mouthful, but let me explain. It has a juicy pop of mandarin, which gives it its fruity twist, as well as a pop of rose, sexy cinnamon built around a gorgeous, addictive, woody leather base. It's an incredibly sexy fragrance. I personally find the scent really irresistible. This perfume is an attention grabber, and if you want attention on you, you should reach out for the original 1 million Eau de Toilette. It's a great one to wear as well on nights out, if you're going clubbing, when clubs can open again, or in the summer, if you're partying outside, wear this perfume. In terms of performance, you're gonna get monster projection. Of course, this is a super powerful fragrance. With regards to the longevity on my skin, it lasted 10 hours. However, after eight hours, it started to fade away. So when you're comparing it to the other fragrances within the range, it's not the most long lasting. But hey, that being said, eight hours is pretty good in my books. So that was the Eau de Toilette. 1 million Privé, the first flanker or reiteration of 1 million. And personally, this one is my favorite. I adore this scent. And it's another ladies man, if you will. This ladies man is a gentleman. He's polite, he's sophisticated and really charming. This perfume has an awesome, really awesome cinnamon to apple accord. So it's warm, it's sensual, a solid designer, autumn to winter staple that I would say every man should have in their collection. Personally, I find One Million Privé to be the most refined and luxurious smelling of the entire One Million range. And actually it's a little bit more expensive than the rest of the range, but totally worth it in my opinion. Because of the warmer, spicy notes and also the added sweetness, I would recommend wearing this for a winter date. It's gonna be a killer, it's super yummy and edible, and it's just really addictive. The pros with this fragrance is that it is a unique, luxurious smelling perfume at a designer price tag, great quality, and phenomenal performance. Long lasting between 10 to 12 hours on my skin, and again, a really nice sillage. In terms of the cons, this perfume is becoming increasingly difficult to find. I think it's been discontinued in a few countries. I went on the Paco Rabanne website, and I'm based in the UK, and I could find it there. So perhaps if you're interested in this scent, go straight onto the Paco Rabanne website. But that is the only con I see to this scent. It is amazing, and my favorite from the 1 million range. And now we have 1 million Lucky. And if I'm honest, this is my least favorite within the range and I don't particularly enjoy this scent. But that's just a personal opinion. You may really enjoy it and you may find this perfume to be suitable for you. So to me, this scent is the sweetest out of the entire 1 million range. And it's a sweetness that is like candy-like as opposed to 1 million Privé, which is more of a baked apple pie sweetness. So that like, baking kind of culinary sweetness. One Million Lucky is more on a sugary sweetness. In fact, when I smell this scent, I mainly smell ethyl maltol, which is a synthetic ingredient used in perfumery that has like a strawberry candy floss type of scent that is used in a lot of gourmand fragrances to give it that sweet touch. Nothing wrong with that, but I just find it to be too sweet and therefore a little bit juvenile to my taste. Now that being said, it's a playful and fun fragrance. This is your fun best friend that you love to hang out with and have a good time. That is what this fragrance is. This candy light sweetness, I presume, comes from the addition of plum, and you also have a nutty, creamy note of hazelnut, which is super yummy, as well as masculine woods like patchouli. So there's a contrast between 
a playful sweetness and really masculine woody notes. Now the performance, like all the other fragrances, is very good. On my skin, it lasted between 10 to 12 hours, so I couldn't get it off basically, which is great. And you're gonna get a pretty strong sillage or scent bubble. In fact, in terms of the sillage or the scent trail, like when people are able to smell you, you have first one million parfum, which I'll talk about next, then this one, then Privé, then the 1 million EDT. And the last one is 1 million Parfum. You could classify this fragrance as a beast mode scent. It is extremely powerful, extremely intoxicating, and you know, a little bit goes a long way. And on my skin personally, I couldn't get it off. I wore the scent in the morning, I took a shower at night, scrubbed myself down with soap, and it was still there. In some form or another, it was still there and it smelt really strongly on my wrist. So performance wise, this one is unbeatable. It's the best performing one from the 1 million range. So what does 1 million parfum smell like? This is an unapologetically excessive, flamboyant king of a scent. Very different to the original 1 million. You can't compare the two. They smell like two different fragrances. With 1 million parfum, you have an exotic tropical feel. And I like to describe the scent as being a masculine pina colada. You heard it, gentlemen. It is delicious. It will bring you to a tropical island. You're partying on the beach with like a pina colada, a mojito, whatever cocktail you have in hand, and you're having a great time. This is what One Million Parfum is about. You have tuberose, you have leather, and you have some salty notes. Personally, I don't get much of the leather in the scent. I really get a gorgeous, creamy, fruity accord with a little bit of these salty marine notes that are kind of reminiscent of a beach, of the sea, of a tropical holiday. Now, that being said, it is powerful. I would not recommend spraying this perfume abundantly, one, don't need that many sprays. Two, avoid wearing this perfume during the day, especially when it's super hot in the summertime. It's gonna be too much, I'm gonna tell you right now. If I were you, wear this on a summer night when it's a little bit colder, it'll just work better on the skin and it won't be too in your face. So this perfume, although it has like a summery feeling and you know, this tropical exotic vibe going on, you can totally rock this as well during spring and autumn time because it is quite dense and opulent and it doesn't necessarily just scream an exotic holiday. It's totally appropriate to wear as well in the colder months. So there you have it, gentlemen. This is my take on the 1 million range by Paco Rabanne. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments down below which 1 million Paco Rabanne fragrance you have in your collection. If you like these fragrances, I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.